<laughs> Welcome to oh I Saw This on the Internet, a show where comedian friends of mine talk about random stories on the internet that are more often than not submitted by you, the people. If you find a random old story that's ridiculous, you can email it to me at internet at kevonstage.com. Today's whole episode is from y'all, y'all's emails. I got up last night and looked at it. I said, oh, y'all did a fantastic job. Made my job easy. I appreciate you. Keep doing it. And y'all are crazy, too. Don't send no mixtapes in there because those get deleted. If it ain't got a story in the link, it's out. <laughs> Today's panel is the newly engaged with no wedding ring, Rob Hayes. Hey, Women, hey. buy your man a ring. He deserves love, too. Well, when you get engaged, you can go raw, so. People be going raw before that. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> People be going raw. Like, People be going raw. We can insert age. Just go raw. <laughs> the age is 18. <laughs> the often before that. Uh, be Detroit's finest, though. Keisha E. Lakeisha Edwards. Hey, hey, hey. hey you want to look her up? Whoa, government. Uh, wow. 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 That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. E. That's crazy. That's, what are you doing? Look at this information. It's on your yeah. Instagram. It's not, like, it's not on my Instagram. Yeah. It's sealed. Yeah. My last name is sealed. Do you hear me? You're on Keisha got a I got it sponged and it's sealed. Keisha, this is on IMDb. This is not it's, hidden. It's E. It's E. It's e. Uh, Ronnie J is here. Don't want to make the same Say my whole shit. <laughs> If you steal my credit, you'll give it back. I tell you that shit. Nigga <laughs> be like, you won't. I just want to share a funny story that was happening off camera about Ronnie and Keisha. Keisha was asking, I'll let y'all tell it. What? Go ahead, uh, when you, you asked Ronnie about moving to Atlanta <laughs> for <laughs> <laughs> I keep it, I just, I keep so it I real was, my black women. I'm I was sorry. contemplating moving to Atlanta, right? What's crazy, I had already had enough dating <laughs> info. So I legit was calling Ronnie just for the comedy scene. I legit was like, <laughs> how is the comedy in Atlanta? I'm thinking about moving to Atlanta. And Ronnie was picking, on his way to pick up his kids from school and was like, you want to move to Atlanta? Let Why you want to move to Atlanta? Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you want to move to Atlanta? You ain't going to find no nigga in Atlanta? <laughs> Even the lesbians out here, they ain't trying to commit. The lesbians <laughs> are cheating out there. They dogs. I said, what? You can't even go the other way, Keisha, if you come down here. I'm just telling you, you don't. You might not want to do it. You might not want to do it. And if they got something going on for himself, he don't want to be with no one woman. He's like, you, I know you might find like a, I think he said a truck driver or an electrical dude. You find somebody, but if he What's got an anything, dude? if he got any motion, he, gonna, he know he got some motion. An electrical dude. I didn't say yeah, electrical dude. She just dude. He she put it in. Yeah. I might have said a dude that worked at a regular job or like a forklift driver or some shit. I don't know. I Maybe. love how electrical dude is. Yeah. I, like, I like electrical dude electrical for this dude. story. Like, electrical dude. Shout out to all electrical dudes. Shout out to all the DMs. Electrical dudes. Ronnie talked to me for 45 minutes, y'all. I changed the whole trajectory of my move. Said, don't do it, queen. <laughs> he told her that. Ronnie she couldn't even find a parking space. <laughs> you can't You can't listen. find a spot. Because she didn't have a plan. I said, where well, you want to live at? Shit, I think um, maybe well, no, because Duluth, some, some uh, maybe area. the south side. I'm like, what the fuck? No, because Duluth? people were like, well, don't move here. You got to leave your windows rolled down. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, so they don't bust them out. You just leave your car open. They can just take it. And I'm like, what? So then I don't want to be there. Well, you can't Is move there. with crime? Don't move I don't live head. in Atlanta. I'm That's from Atlanta. Smart. What the call fuck? That, book hood. that don't is move to this. smart. You can only move there and, <laughs> and then don't drive this way. And I'm like, oh, if shit. things people that they wish they had <laughs> knew before they moved to Atlanta. A lot of the women be on their client. Girl, don't move down here. I'm telling y'all, it's it's I not what just didn't want more people coming down. No, we we uh, that too because y'all because when the I be, bad, I be want to move to Atlanta and people just be nah nah stay well, over there. We don't need for no more. If you got already but got see, something be good, going, if you, you are, yeah. if you had a little bay or something you was talking to, I'd be like yeah. Or like you had something you in motion, build a... you got to build a Negro from scratch out here. You got to build a woman from scratch. <laughs> Let me get electrical like... dude. <laughs> get you an electrical dude <laughs> that ain't got no motion. I'm looking for all the electrical Get him some teeth. You know what I'm saying? If you meet a dude with new veneers and a little, if you meet a dude with a crossbody and veneers, nope. He already outside. He, oh, then he's telling me, yeah, you got to be aware of the scammers. They're going to come oh, out yeah, here. Oh, yeah, they're going to get you social. Your, yeah, yeah, run your sure. credit up. Yeah, yeah. Not a barcode dude and a legend. And then he dude. just left me, honey. He was like, all right, hold on. Let me go get these kids. I'm like, he just like, left be me well. on like be the well. worst flip. Be well. Be well. <laughs> He was like, good luck. I love the visual electrical good dude. He has no utility belt on. He's but like, the crazy boy, he just turns to Keisha. The dudes that ain't married, they're not married on purpose. They're like, bro, why? <laughs> for what? I, my, like, my homeboy was out there for a long time. He was like, like "Why?" He hit me. He was talking about he wasn't married, right? And I was like, "You ever think about getting married?" He was like, "The women are okay with you having more than one woman, and they That's do wild. real estate, and they got money. <laughs> like they got bread too. It's like that is wild. They genuinely choose to smush and go to their own house. It's like, all right, man. Just... That's what I heard in Atlanta. Yeah, They're your name's gonna be Tuesday in somebody's phone. <laughs> That is wild. 
I'm just saying, so I'm staying here, Keisha. Of course, it could be the total opposite uh, end of the spectrum. You can find somebody and y'all fall in love and have kids and all that shit. That can happen too, but I'm just telling you. I feel like you got to go outside Atlanta. You got to go one of them little small. But that's all it is. Atlanta is a bunch of small towns and everybody go into the city to do their yeah. business and then we go back to the McDonough. Little, yeah, Jonesboro, yeah. McDonough, Fayetteville, McDonough. Forest Park. Uh, you know, I live in Athens, so I'm way to. Oh, I'm, you, you, yeah. I'm way out You're for no even, reason. That's not. That's I grew a whole different city. That's a whole different city. city. That's no, I, that's Hayes, where I met Rob Hayes. Hayes. I met Rob Hayes. Mm-hmm. I, I saw Rob Hayes. I brought him to the stage his first time. Mm-hmm. Ronnie is the comedy godfather. <laughs> yeah, Rob ain't even have the gray right here. No, when me, I do. no, no. me and Rob, me and my wife watch Rob his uh, sets. We like that's our first baby. That's our first yeah. baby. <laughs> like, we raised him. Cause Rob used to come to the crib. We be in there mm-hmm. writing jokes and going mm-hmm. back to UGA. Like when I had a show to UGA, I was like, I need well, him to open. Yeah, he got yeah. open. How, how far oh, is wow. Athens from Atlanta though? About an like hour, hour twenty, hour thirty, something like that. Ronnie, if you, you just live if you in drive Athens. like Ronnie, if you drive like me, it's gonna take two hours. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Rob Hayes messing up the, merge. the speed limit. Yeah. It was it's a whole limit. Discussion. It's like LA it's people. All y'all live the, hour this is the fastest <laughs> that you can go. You can go, right. you know, well below this if you want to. This is the limit. I'll be on the line. I don't, I don't right. step I over the line. It. I go. That's you like don't feel the, like, I feel like that's the minimum. No, I feel like I'm regulating. <laughs> I'm regulating the speed. You holding everybody up is what you're doing. The limit to me is the minimum. Rob, the reason I was late today. No, that was that was that cop that was going crazy. <laughs> but I was in the front, and I was like, when this cop goes, he's going to be like, that guy, he's obeying the law. I messed with him. What happened? It was a cop holding traffic up? Yeah, I don't know. They was looking thing. for something. That doggone swerving thing. Why do they what do is that? that? You talking about like, they, they clearing the highway out? down so it doesn't get bottlenecked, probably. Okay. Yeah, either an accident. I've never, or seen, it. I've never seen that before. I've never seen it before. They do that out so here. I was scared. I was like, oh, it's oh, he a was like, break, He was yeah. like letting it breathe. He was he like, let it breathe. They will just be stopped. They'll just be swerving like this and you can't drive. How many lanes of highway, they'll drive across them all. I ain't never seen it before. I was like, oh, he doing a U-turn. Okay, he about to get somebody behind. Him. This this crazy. I hope so he don't he, get behind so me. Slow. It's like it's like when you hitting it and you got to slow down before you go too fast. Like yeah, wait, chill, out, chill out, back out a little bit. Let me get right. There's let no me, reason to slow down. Let me let me let me give. Let me let her enjoy. We're all tired. No, you got to let her enjoy it. So that's a reason to slow down. There's no tired. reason. I don't ever want to delay this. No wonder she throws. It's like dipping a you. chicken nugget and being like ah. I mean, no. It I might taste better. Like, no. like it's like it all the That's not all it's I'm like, it is the It's I'm, like but who, said, and, who says no. that we're all tired? I doubt no. that we're <laughs> tired. Speak for tired. yourself. Keisha, we 40. You're tired. No, I doubt 40. Women turn up and they but get 40. But women are, it's, yeah. It's, up. it's, it's like, the reverse. I doubt when I die, I'm going to get a stat sheet that says, this is the amount of time that you took to get places, and this is like how long you could have gotten there. You don't like, know. It's God not might like, be at the pearly gates like, Rob, I can't let you in. You're, life, you're holding think, up the line, Rob. Life's not a I racing when you game. Get to the gates, it's it's not. Be like 30 for 30 with all the times you jacked off. Like, here is the first time. And it's going to be like, Screen just like this. The thing about like, it, this the, is eternity. There's no sense of time, so they could play all this, and there's yeah. no rush. Yeah, they're like, no, keep going. No, 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 no. Remember, remember <laughs> you could be alive for 75 years. Remember when you you just you did it again? Remember this is you again. This is you. Yeah, you did it. You put your ID. I don't. In. I don't <laughs> you really got your purse. Yeah, and your charger. <laughs> Hey, you know you jacking out too much when you go get your charger. You're like, wait a minute, let me get my charger. I'm in. I'm in yellow. I'm, I'm in yellow. I'm in yellow. Oh, I'm in yellow. The screen go black. I'm gonna see myself. I'm gonna be I'm upset. Low power mode. <laughs> yeah, but like, move to Atlanta with a plan. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> or don't move. But it's cheaper than LA. That's all I can say. But, Everything's but, cheaper in but, LA. But, but Atlanta San Francisco, is Francisco, New York. The houses and are inflated mm-hmm. now, though. Too the houses are way inflated than they used to be. It's like because everybody coming there. They just, I think Atlanta's it's inflated still much is probably three hundred. My to friend has a three bedroom townhouse upstairs downstairs. She was like, "Oh, you can just come take over my lease because I'm about to move." But she had like three more months left. She pays like eight hundred dollars less than what I pay for a one bedroom. Yeah, but she mm, cries in the house alone. She has a husband and kids. That's why she's moving. Well, I'm saying like, that was what you was going to do. You was going to get in there. Because <laughs> she, she going to be the electrical dude. I got somebody on Tuesday. And I got the, he was like, you Light might meet somebody up. at work at the stadium. You know what I'm saying? No, you're going to meet. I'm sure you're going to meet. The Congress Center? You gonna mm-hmm. meet somebody. You don't but be like, gonna be like, the and you gonna meet somebody center? nice, and they gonna be funny. He was like, you will probably get, you know, you, then, then he kind of like like went home a little bit. Teeth. He like it was what? like a compliment in the distance. Like, I mean, you could you could probably even pull like a little ball player or something. <laughs> you can get an old falcon. Like probably maybe uh, old <laughs> falcon. You can get somebody that was. Young. <laughs> I need look, run, you know, the running back don't play for two years. There's a lot of old running backs. Old falcon. Old falcon don't mean old for it. The running back don't play for about two years. Falcon money gone. 
but the asset's still there. Yeah, you know he still owns a subway. He got a subway, but he got a dirty yeah, bird. He yeah, was doing the dirty bird. So. He still owns like two subways attached to a gas station, but you're going to have to work in one of them. <laughs> To keep y'all house, y'all townhouse. Oh my so god! Should not move to Atlanta. Gonna move in with you. It was too. so all over the place. He was like, "You should hit such and such. She could probably get you on the show, though." Like, yeah. But no, nah, you might not want to come out here. Don't really fuck with it. Cause yeah. where can you go in America if you are a black woman and you want to meet Texas. a good man, Texas. electrical dudes? Texas, Texas is Texas? huge though. What part? Te- is now they short. I don't know what they putting in the barbecue in Texas. They all five eight and under. What part? It's five eight short. Uh, Ain't that average Dallas. height? I thought everything no. was bigger in Texas. I thought I will, that was I will whole, say. That is their whole. That's biggest. their thing. <laughs> So you are, if he's short but the penis is big, it's still well, I don't not. Well, I'm about to show it. I had to talk a Texas one. But, uh, I love how Keisha is 40 and she's but, uh, like, but still 5'8". There's just certain things yeah, I won't I mean, bend on. You know. But you're not even tall. Like, I don't understand. I'm 5'4". With heels, I'm 5'8". You're going to meet a dude that's 5'2". I'm 5'7". Get somebody to match you where you at. Nah, you, you, nah, you 5'8", nah, they 5'8". Nah. There's going to be a dude that got this whole sweatshirt on when you get up. Listen, <laughs> He'd be like, this is my girl shit. This, this shit fly, right? Yeah, I don't want you to be able to fit my clothes. <laughs> Why Maybe is that so important? When I was down there one time, right, I was like, oh, let me go look on the app and just see. Because on the apps in LA is like entertainment. It's comical at this okay. point. Okay. And dudes down there was on some like, don't hit me if you don't live here, if you just passing by. And I was like, oh, these niggas looking for a wife. They not playing. Well, a lot of dudes are kind of playing, but they want a in wife. In LA, but it's they... like, eh, I'm just here for a good time. LA people are here for a different reason. But down mm-hmm. there, like Texas, um, the Carolinas, mm-hmm. um, Charlotte might be Midwest. a good spot. I feel Charlotte, like Charlotte, Charlotte, might be Charlotte is like the new Atlanta. Even the Midwest, kind of, it's like, yeah. everything's a That's new Atlanta. What they say. Well, it's fun. It's Charlotte's new Atlanta. Nashville's new Charlotte, Atlanta. Charlotte, Charlotte is funner than it used Atlanta. to be. It's way funner than it. It's like okay, you can get it in over here. You know, you can party. People are not parties. coming here to start families. They're coming here no. to try to make it. Yeah, that's why I think that's not the reason. People in other cities where I'm from and where I've been. They be like, yeah, man, I thought you'd be doing 40 years old. Like, I'm just not ready for a relationship. Like, nigga, half your life is over. What are you waiting on? Not in Atlanta. Half your life is not over at 40. If you're a black man at 40, half your life is over. Not in Atlanta. I hate to tell you, you very likely have more years behind you than 60 years old talking about, shit, I'm going to hit the studio. You're like, man. (laughs) (laughs) Drop this geriatric album. There's a lot of dudes that's 50. You don't know they're 50. They look 25, too. But they're they're not going to live to 100. Who's to say? You know, you don't know what's in this man. You're going to spend the other 40 years (laughs) kicking it with your home. Playing video games with your homeboys. It's like, what? Amen. I'm just trying to find myself. Like, nigga, let me help you retrace your steps. Where did you get lost? Let's go back. Let's figure it a out. A lot of niggas you ain't 45. ready to sign up for probation. That's what marriage is. Let's be real. Marriage is kind of probation-y. It's like, you got to mm. check in. You got to be content with the person. You got to you gotta want that. Like, a lot of dudes be like, I, like, dude, you can't make a dude marry. Dudes be like, I want to marry her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm not saying that. But I'm just, we, I just think that, that the culture these days is like, everybody just... And I don't know, maybe for right now, but what happens 10 years from now, 15 years from now? Well, they making a whole new Could you imagine your life without Melissa, Isaiah, and JoJo? But you got all this money, you got all these studios, you got all the everything, but you just like... I would not be happy. Yeah. I'd be sad. But I started my family. That's yeah. what I'm saying. When I was no, in Washington, saying, I was... Dudes, that's what I'm saying. But I you knew what you wanted to do, though, that. right? You I had mean, a goal. You said, I'm going to do this. I want to do this by this time. And I'll Before all it. this stuff, I was like, wife, kids. Yeah. Then comedy dreams and all that stuff. And you have a lot of dudes I think I gotta have it all first. So then now you are 55 years old. I feel like like, social media or society makes you as a man, a lot. I agree with you wholeheartedly. A lot of men feel like they have to bring so much to the table that they can't even like. Because every podcast they say that. I don't want no regular nigga. I don't want no (laughs) nine of five. You know what? This podcast I was listening to and this dude. That's what they say. This man was talking about dudes and like everybody want to, dudes want to get their ducks in a row, right? He was like, what have you ever seen ducks in a row? Like basically he was like, me and my wife we figured it out together. Like we got, I got to where I'm at with her. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't wait till I got to this point to yeah. then go mm. get somebody. So it's like, yeah. that's, that's I think crazy. a lot of men, this is just from my uh, experience talking with them. They feel like they must have it. And yeah. the women, whether this is true or not, is really irrelevant. They feel like the women aren't going to be with them through the process. They need to come to the table with but the there's job, so many that, that do. They just be insecure about it or feeling a way of like, oh, I feel like I got to have it. And chicks be like, no, I'm going to be good. I see but you grinding. Cool. I see and you then, working towards then, it. And then it's too, it's like uh, dudes see all that. They be like, eh. And then you go out and then all the, the young girls is in your face talking about my pussy pink, my booty <laughs> hole brown. you like, well, <laughs> is it? Like, I don't even know her name yet. Like, <laughs> oh, they make outside look way funner <laughs> than it is. It but looks- you don't want to be in the street. Rod even married since he was 16 and happy. You don't want to be out in them streets. 
I mean, I go look. I be like, Ugh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what about like, you, Rob? Exactly. Rob, you moved to L.A. Mm-hmm. to chase your dream. Mm-hmm. You 34, mm-hmm. and you're engaged. What made you decide, or or your fiance decide? Me and Rob Hayes gonna get it. Do you? Did you feel like you had to have it all together? Um, or did she feel Rob like has it no? I Rob felt, I felt like I felt like I was <laughs> I was on the way to getting it together. You know. Mm-hmm. So I, I I do feel like I you know I don't know I I I don't think she would be with me if I was not somewhat together. If he was open so what, what what do you think? What do you think you brought to the table that she thought okay this is enough, or you thought I have enough to propose? Because you had to do the proposal, I assume. Yeah. Okay. I think I think uh, I mean I I think okay I think when it was proposal time. I had it together. So, what did you look at in my life and say that I'm, I feel comfortable? I I feel like I'm, you know, like I don't know when we, when we first met. I was she she claims I was dead broke and naked. Now I was <laughs> <laughs> I was clothed naked. And naked. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was clothed. <laughs> but I, I was I was in dire straits, you know. Like it was it was but rough. You had you some know? motion though. You had oh. some motion. Yeah, but then but but me pulling myself out of that. To where I am now, I think showed the potential that all right, he's he's on to something, you know. Yeah, he he's had three walls. Story. Now he's got four walls. <laughs> you know, three yeah. walls. Yeah, I had a curtain. It was it was me, <laughs> and then my roommate and a curtain. You know, oh, this is figured literally. Yeah, no, literally. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. you were. Fig- now you these are not it. metaphorical walls. <laughs> no, this is <laughs> this is not stage speak. No, this this is literally yeah, like hey, there was a stairwell. You could look down and see me sleep. You know, from upstairs. <laughs> and, yeah, very dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Shoes are in jeopardy at all times. But you know what I'm saying? I, I climbed out of that and now whole apartment. And whole right. apartment. It's time to settle down now. Once you got that fourth wall and uh, you close that door. Up. Come yeah. on. Lock. See, I feel like for me it was I the the, the world was different, I believe, because we was in Washington and it wasn't like a job, I, I, the job I had at the time, I was working at the daycare. I didn't even have the bank job yet. Mm. Actually, I didn't have a job. I was in college. Mm. I just worked at the Puyallup Fair in the summer, or <laughs> or like a uh, summer camp and stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was I was gonna get a job. I felt like you know what I'm saying I had always worked through high school through college. <laughs> uh, but Melissa got the first good job. She worked at the bank, and that was mm-hmm. the first time we went from. Our counting counting our pay by hours to salary. Mm-hmm. I remember she was like, "Bro, they give me thirty five thousand dollars an hour." I was like, mm-hmm. "Calculator, what? Is, that's crazy!" And you get vacation, eh. and I still proposed. I was just like, "I'm gonna get it." But I think the the stakes were much lower in yeah. to, in uh shoot. I proposed in two thousand three. The stakes were way low because mm. I was mm. also like nineteen. Economy was still good. In- Economy still good. In 03, did you feel the pressure of being a baller? Because at that time, it was all about rims and chains that, and my watches na- and stuff. My neighbor had a, a rim shop. Okay. He had an H2, and he had Ooh. the spinner on the whole, And he had okay. the spinners on there. Ooh. So coming home and parking my Ford Focus next to that was a little <laughs> dark. Because <laughs> they spin, I, I touch them sometimes. I was yeah. like, Man, he really got, like, they have these on record. <laughs> you spin it to my house. spin it to my house. I spent his rim. Before ring cams was I was out. like, yo, yeah. <laughs> he said, come on. You can man, do all that shit in the parking lot. Yeah. <laughs> Still going. <laughs> but I didn't feel no pressure. And he used to have hoes coming in and out. Mm-hmm. He I had bet. probably the most important thing you could have at that time. Yeah. Was an H2 with rims in his own apartment. <laughs> so he was running through them. And he worked at the I middle of the mall. He had the little <laughs> rim shop in the middle of the mall. Okay. Gas he was, was killing like a dollar or something. Gas oh. was $1.19. But no, I didn't feel no pressure because Melissa didn't put no pressure on me either. Like, mm-hmm. we Army kids, all you really needed was a stable job because the Army mm-hmm. would give you a stable job and a house. So she's like, as long as you can get a job, we can have an apartment. But like to Cam's point, apartments weren't crazy then, but it felt yeah. crazy. My first apartment was like 515, <laughs> I believe. And that back then, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> How yeah, am I gonna come up with five? Half a thousand. I got half a thousand. One twenty five of each. Yeah. Uh, I mean, two fifty of each check. Yeah. What am I gonna do with the other two hundred? Yeah. Well, so, I'm... but we was nobody had no money. The, our whole friend group, we was all living the same life. But I think had I, if I was starting now, I probably wouldn't propose. 
No. I didn't like. I, I don't have. I don't have nothing. I'm gonna waste this lady time. That's yeah. <laughs> if, I, if I was doing what I was doing in Washington. <laughs> Uh, what about you, Ronnie? <clears throat> I proposed. I was up when I proposed. I had just won that Kings of Comedy competition. I was up by twenty five grand, and then uh, I had just went. I was just booked another tour to go on tour, Earth, Wind, and Fire, and the Ozzy Brothers, and then we got married in my mom's living room. And uh, after that, I went back on tour. Like I was, we was living in a loft. I had a nice loft in Noonan, but I proposed to her after on a, on a lunch break. I was just like, you know, will you marry me? And she was like, oh yeah. <laughs> then when we got married, it was oh, like yeah? no, we, we was engaged for like a year or so, and she was just like, oh, I guess we're gonna be engaged forever. And I was like, let's, let's, let's do it tomorrow then. <laughs> Not the big side. Let's do it tomorrow then. Shit. He said I proposed to her. Ronnie's story is all that back. I proposed to her on a lunch break. Hey. <laughs> like, I wanted to hear more about that. Did you that? work for yeah. her? You went up to her job at the lunch break? No, 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 no. She came home. She was working at the daycare. She came home. We was, we was. We, I had a nice loft. I had a big ass corner lot in noon, and it had like fourteen big windows and shit. Got on one knee and was like, what's up, got now? <laughs> 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 I, this is 22-year-old, 20, right? 23, 22 That's years old. That's hilarious. But what, what we finna do? Like, we finna got them beard and shit? Or got down, you, want, you see what we doing? We can ride a bike in this motherfucker. Meet <laughs> oh me, me at the altar in yeah, your white dress. Like that. I got buried in white Air Force Ones in a suit jacket and a dress shirt. Like I know, no kidding. I was watching Ronnie podcast. He said, "Yeah, we had chili we had at my chili wedding. At my wedding. I my was daddy in cooked tears. a lot of stuff. We had chili. Because <laughs> what happened? We 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 went to the Justice of the Peace. They wasn't. They said you can get your marriage license. They didn't have a Justice of the Peace. And my mom, I called my mom. I was like, you know a Justice of the Peace? I'm finna marry this girl. She said, give me a date. And I was like, all right. And she had set up my wife. My mom set up a whole way. She had a real pastor come. Like like everybody came. It was like nice. It was the whole family was there. Her family was there. And it was in my mom's living room that they live the house they live in right now. We still together 18 years later. So but you know, I but it's been ups and downs in the middle of that, but I was up, up, up. But I had to the problem with that was when I was younger, I thought you just had to have money. I didn't think you had to talk to the girl or nothing. <laughs> I like, but I got bread. What the fuck wrong with you? Why are you crying and shit? Like, like <laughs> I just thought you had to have money. Oh like I thought God. it was that was the only thing. Like, <laughs> like honestly, I had these to bills are paid. Clothes. What's what the you, issue? Like, what's wrong with you? Oh, like, why we not? You know what I'm saying? What's wrong? Like. <laughs> I didn't know you had to talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> that, is that is all we was taught, really. Yeah, we was, was just provide. like, talk, yeah. like if you ain't you, you if you ain't got no money, you ain't shit. And my wife was like, no, nah, you're something, but money don't mean nothing. It's the paper. It's like you have to talk to me. <laughs> you have to find out what I want, <laughs> like what I like and shit like that. I was like, oh yeah, that right. What was you doing early? Your man just walking just by. Just playing her video games, and <laughs> fucking <laughs> buying shoes and jewelry. Like, I'm going to the mall again. Bye. <laughs> Let me get Let me get nine pairs of little alpha ones. White, black, red, blue. Like, I was, oh <laughs> I was very in my own shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then I was still going out every weekend. But I was doing, like, I was opening for Earth, Wind, and Fire every night. It was, like, 20,000 people. So, I like, my ego is, like, yeah. what, so what were you talking to Earth, Wind, and Fire and the Isley Brothers about backstage? Like, you I was talking to Verdine. I was just talking to... Talking I was Verdine White. Verdine, Verdine White was amazing, dog. He, this motherfucker was 70 back then. He's, like, 109 now. <laughs> <laughs> he was 70 back then. This was Ronnie Jordan, Verdine White. I used, talking to, I used to talk to Philip Bailey all the time. <laughs> Philip Bailey had a son with him. His son looked a little older than him. But I was like, man, my mom loved that song with you and Phil Collins. And they talk, but the thing about Earth Wind and Fire learned is that they was professional. They get in there, they contract say we are in and out, loaded, back on the truck by nine o'clock. I don't give a fuck what happened. We in, do our show. They go up first. They, they rock that bitch. They used to burn the shit out of the Isaac Brothers. They used to tear the Isaac Brothers' head off. They used, I can say it now, it was 03. They used to fuck the Isaac Brothers hey. up. I'm talking about the stadium. <laughs> and then here come Mr. Big ass, old ass in the back with handlers. Like he looked cool, but he can't see nothing. He got them girls because he couldn't see nothing. So. And they started, they said, started out real slow and with all that R. Kelly, Mr. Big shit. But the crowd was like, bro, man. Like, bro, what the fuck? Like, and, and they used to have to like get him up to the stage and then. By the time it got gone, it was like, but they got a lot of slow shit. But mm -hmm. Earth Wind and Fire, everybody's up doing cardio. <laughs> but I would have to go out before all them. But it was like a, it was the comedy soul fest. It was how old were you performing for me? <laughs> like twenty three. Like Tom Jordan. <laughs> Tom, it's twenty three. I was I me I and Jeff. We were the openers. I, did, I got contracted to do five minutes. I think I was making like three grand a night. 
Dang. For five Dang. Yeah, for five minutes. But all then right. I get there, they be like, you got two. I'm like, all right, one joke, honey bun. Hey, y'all. <laughs> for three grand. Boom. And they still pay you the three? Hell yeah. They had got, and I had got a deposit before for all the dates. I was up. I was like walking around Atlanta with like 1800 on me. Like, what? <laughs> what, you, what you said? I thought y'all had said something to me. <laughs> I would. <laughs> oh my God. I just said body on, dog. I, I see you last night. But what's up? What y'all, what? What y'all, what? With 1800, they probably. 1800 oh on me what? at all times. And a look. <laughs> I don't leave the house without 1800. I got 1800 on me in a Bonneville. I still ain't buying a new car. I got like 93 Bonneville that's run good as hell. I'm like, my car run. Fuck that shit. <laughs> Yeah, oh and then I bought God. I bought a Cadillac. I had a couple. I bought a lot of cars. And oh, shit. Ronnie! But you know, you know, you can lose. I, I lost it all, got it back. Then you had to reinvent. I had to reinvent myself, start doing the colleges, and then booked a bunch of those, and then you know, back. But I was gone a lot, so it was like mm -hmm. I had to make sure I was cultivating what was at the house because you know we almost got divorced ten times, so. <laughs> You know, I, I was we just need to have y'all on Marriage Be Hard podcast. Boy, we probably don't, because if we don't come back together, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, we were straight before we came to your goddamn." <laughs> <laughs> you need the podcast. I don't want no. I don't want to go to LA by yourself. That's what we said. You, you still got like, the AG hundred on? Cause you gonna be needing to start that paperwork. Hey, niggas gonna be walking up to me because they got the patient. They walking in front of me like, yeah, ah, niggas. Oh, wait a minute! Don't do me like that. Oh yeah, my god! So how'd you lose it all and get it back? What happened? IRS pulled up, like, what's up, man? Oh, you all right. Hey. Yeah, I got audited. I got audited, and I had to pay, like, I was on a monthly payment thing with the IRS, and then, you know, just got, just, you know, it's life shit happened. You know what I'm saying? Man. I didn't have no kids. At this time, I didn't have no kids. We were just living. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have no idea, a credit, a concept of, like, saving or nothing. It was just like. You were just buying Air Force One. Do your shit, man. You, <laughs> you fucking them folks up. That's what was telling them. The my, voice in your head. The voice in my head is me as a drug dealer. Like, boy, <laughs> you on your shit, ain't you? <laughs> Me All of our voices are dumb. different. Rob's voice is like drive sixty five, yeah. and don't you go a, very logical. a <laughs> mile over it. Yours is like nigga, what? What's, what's the speed limit? We doing it? You, they trying you over there, <laughs> nigga. You fat and cute and got eighteen hundred. Fuck these niggas. Thank you. Oh, right. What does your voice say, Keisha? Oh gosh, my voice. <laughs> Ronnie's voice is destructive. <laughs> right. that, that's what the, the voice say when you got audited, though? What did the talking. voice say when you got audited? Damn, but they got your ass. <laughs> <laughs> he would have no part, no accountability. <laughs> the voice didn't say us. Damn, I didn't know that was going to happen. Got you. <laughs> they got you, bro. <laughs> Shit dirt, ain't it? <laughs> hey, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> the voice in my head just leaves. The voice is first 48 on him. <laughs> hey, I'm yeah, gonna I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, but I ain't never been in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just figured it out. Man. We, just, we, oh, we pivot. We pivot. You know? oh, Ronnie. <laughs> I've been, been turning up for a long time, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't have 18 lives in common. Probably about five for real, but it's just. Man. I was the, I was the era right before social media and right before they started doing. um, Because Rodney Perry explained it to, <laughs> to somebody else, and I was like, that makes sense. It was like, you, you know, when I was supposed to pop or whatever the pop was, it was like you get a a pilot. You know, they was just yeah, giving holding comedians a showcase, the holding deal, 300000 I thought that was the track because Corey Oakman had did it four or five times, and I, that was my boy. And I'm like, man, I know I'm going to do that shit. But then Rider Strike happened. Yep. Everything stopped. Reality TV take off. And now you got to figure out something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but we about to roll into another Rider Strike, ain't we, Rob? We, hey? sure. yeah. we rolling yeah, into that, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got the fourth wall still? Huh? You got fourth the fourth wall? I got the fourth wall, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think I can ride the strike out. You know There what I'm you saying? go, Rob Hayes. Yeah, hey. yeah, you know, Ooh. I ain't tell your local club, have me in your right. town. I got to do something you else. I ain't just saying that. The, right. the calendar looking, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> is, is seeing a lot of numbers. Need more dots. That's also when I knew not to move to Atlanta when I called Rodney and he was like, don't do it. And I was like, damn. Yeah, Rodney right, Perry didn't tell you. But he's been on us since like the Monique show. I think he's been on us since like 20... 12 or some shit. Good for you, though. You had people who was like, this ain't what you want. No, we care about you. We want you to succeed and be successful. You got to be rich, auntie, if you're going to goddamn do it. We, we need you. We need you to get your bag first and then decide to deal with one of these peons when you feel like it. <laughs> All right, Keisha, before we go, what, what's the voice in your head? Like, I haven't determined it yet. I don't know. The voice in my head. Um, 
Believe it or not, the voice in my head is actually more like Rob Go 65. I just don't listen to her. Oh. The voice in my head is probably more logical than my, most of my actions. And so I'd be like, girl, shut up. Reckless. I'd be like, girl. That's hilarious. The voice in my head thinks about things, thinks ahead. I'd be like, ah, if you do this, then that. And I'd be like. But the voice in you is like, nah. Yeah. Dang. You ain't got, you, you ain't got you to follow that rule. Cognitive dissonance between the voice and you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> he just diagnosed you. He what? said you bipolar. <laughs> 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 But to be clear, my voice does not sound like that today in my, you know, head now. It's very, Are the drugs in the voice gone? It, it's more like... After the IRF came, that nigga disappeared. That nigga came back. We are reformed. He's like talking like this, fam. Yeah. What we got to do is come together. No, most of my, my voice in my head is like, what, what, what would your sons think? Like, how, how would mm. they perceive this? How, how are you going to leave it for them? You know, what... When they see this tape again, what is it going? What are they going to take from this? How are they going to be able to defend? You know, shit like that. I kind of think about my kids and my the legacy. It's it's, mm-hmm. it's all about them. Them because my little boy he want to be like me so bad, and I'm like I can't be fucking up because he's yeah. seven and he's like he got he's got his own merch at school. This is his clothing line. His, he made up Love Day F. This is my seven. Really? Line. This is his clothing line. He made it up. Cam, and I put it What's the website they can get from? Officialblessedaf.com, man. Get you a Love Day you F. You let your shirt come. Yes. What does he say, AFC? <laughs> uh, and fearless. Loved and fearless. Loved oh, okay. Okay. But he got All a, right. They tried to get him in yeah. trouble at school. The principal was like, he can't wear the Blessed AF um, anymore. I was saying, why? Uh, he was like, um, I said, did you ask him what it stood for? And then she asked me, he's like, blessed and fearless. And I was like, yeah, that's his own business. Like, fuck y'all. You know what I'm saying? Well, you can't well, say, well, well, say well, that. But, all right, sir, you can't say I didn't that. I can't say that, but, you know, my kind of, my, my face is like. <laughs> 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 yeah, but also, I'm like, you know, you got to say dangerous to be out here. You got to be out here. Right. To be an entrepreneur, you got to have some element of danger to you that you got to have some type of fuck it, like, walk off. Absolutely. My daddy was like, dude, you got to have some element of danger to you that you got to have some type of fuck it, like, walk off. Absolutely. My daddy was like, he'll walk off a job in a minute. I'm like, all right, nigga. You absolutely have to. You got to have some, because, you know, people try to. Play you for your worth a lot, and it's yeah, like, wait a minute, fam. You got to color outside the lines. You have to make you gotta up, be you like, make up the this. new blueprint. You have to make up you the new to. lanes every time. Like every like mm. pandemic made me restructure everything. It's like, oh, I can make money at home on this back porch. Okay, mm-hmm. got it. We'll do that, and then I just wear my merch all the time. <laughs> I, was, I was doing it anyway, but I wasn't sending them people. I wasn't taking my fan base and saying, go here and do this. I was yeah. like, fuck with it if you can find it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh. I'm like, oh, you can build your website and put it up. And... <laughs> you got to ride around Atlanta looking for Well, right. everybody was wearing them. I was selling them hand to hand. Them shits was like, motherfuckers was checking the tags on them. Like, people know about them Blessed AF shirts. And You've been consistent before that, with it, too. I had, the yeah. jump man, I had the fat jump man with my body on it. That, yeah, that, that was, was so crazy. Mm-hmm. And I had another shirt that said, uh, geez, I hate you a lot. I used to uh, G's? wear it. Like, G-E-E-Z. It's like the Run DMC logo because I used to say it in my set a lot. On my college, said, "Jeez, I hate you." I, was, I had instead of hate, I had the heart with the Ghostbuster sign. Got it. And it, it sold pretty good. Are you saying Jeezy? Like Jeezy? Like Jesus? Jeez. Like okay, Jeezy. Uh, yeah, first that, I thought you said Jesus. I hate you. I thought you said Jesus. I hate you a lot. Well, well, like Jesus, but Kim like Jeezy, I hate you a lot. You hate Jesus? No, no, no. Jeezy, like you, like uh, like an exclamation point instead of Jeezy. Then I'll be over. Yeah, I'm gonna take you for a G's <laughs> type dude. I, that's well, what I'm saying. And, well, I am, I'm, I'm all that. I'm all that. I, you know, I lived in the hood and the suburbs. You know, so it's like, it is what it is. You know, G's. Mm. Cause I'm the dude that was around. Like my cousin them was bad, but I had to go to class and do what I was supposed to do. Mm. Yeah, but I know. You know, them, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's balance. It's, it's duality. You Somebody know? on Patreon said mer- uh, the merch is officialblessedaf.com. Yep, official official blessed blessed AF. AF. Blessed in sure. favor or blessed and fearless. Whatever you needed to be. Whatever I put the two F- letters on that shirt and whatever's in your dirty mind. Fill in the behind. blank. Fill in the blank. Yeah. All right. Before we go, random question generator. We're gonna start with Rob Hayes this time. Okay. What do you think is the most complex aspect about yourself? The most complex aspect about, about Rob Hayes. Myself. Um, probably like like I, I'm like a sponge. And so I like, you know, I'm constantly trying to learn more information, constantly like reading, like, you know, watching docs and, and different stuff. So I would say that's probably the most complex. Okay. What's your what's your what's your uh, doc of preference? Do you have a certain category that interests you more than the others? I like learning. Like I I like give me the information. Mm. Don't don't be editorializing, don't be all gossipy. You know, <laughs> telling me, me about fat. people's business. Give me the and stuff. Give me the. I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, you know, make my assumptions, edit, editorialize myself. Just give me the info. 
Got it. Nice. All docs are biased. That's By true. Nature, but some, somebody's but, trying to tell a story. Yeah, it's from but one some person. At least yeah. try to go to the other side. Yeah, yeah, There's yeah. There's the yeah. others that are like, no, nah, hey, we ain't getting y'all side. I'm sorry. Right. It's just, right. it's just one side, two hours. <laughs> right. Good luck. That's like the, I watched. The, you seen the Luke Longley doc? No, no. Luke Longley got a doc on YouTube. It's like Australian. Uh, news. That's what Tyler be making fun of me. He's like, because I watch any doc as well. I watch. How it's, far you it's go like down the, the roster? Re- <laughs> no, to it's get the, the Luke Longley. It's, it's like the last one. Last we ain't get no, no Pippin. No, this what we it get was. No Ron the Harper? caption said the reason Luke Longley was left off Last Dance, and I was like, well, well let me see this oh, shit. You know what? I ain't even know the They never put Luke Longley on Last Dance. Missable he is. And Michael Jordan. Why Jordan was left off too? But Luke Longley helped him win the championship though. Like, but but Michael Jordan actually came like did a drop for Luke. Longley's doc, like, my bad, bro. She, we missed you. <laughs> <laughs> That's saying a lot. We missed you. That's saying a lot. He said, we missed Jordan don't, like, do, Jordan that don't do that, but he did a, a little drop for him. <laughs> there, was, there was five episodes. <laughs> bro. Two hey, hours each. The iPad went dead. Go look my back bad, at Luke. last dance. My bad, see it. dog. If you saw Luke Longley in there. <laughs> yeah, I should have charged the iPad. I should have had my bag. Yeah, look. <laughs> If I would have had my bag, I learned a lot. Luke, Luke would have had you. Luke Longley basically said Michael Jordan was an asshole in so many words. That's what all the Everybody new, all the new doctors that. are saying. Yeah. Michael Jordan was not the nicest person. Michael Jordan doesn't do anything to dispel that. When <laughs> he like, talks, you be like, like yeah. man, you got to let it go. Yeah. He's like, nah, what you mean I got to let it go? Let's play one on one right now. <laughs> I mean, you're like, nigga, I'm <laughs> He be in the house by himself. I'm like, don't nobody visit him. I know he's like, his, <laughs> no. his wife don't even be around. His all new wife that is money. Gone. You yeah. still mad. He's still mad. He played with a chip. Him and so, Isaiah Thomas still going at it on Twitter, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. I love him and Charles Oakley saying, Isaiah needs to shut up. Charles Oakley needs to talk more. Yeah, I like it. Because he's been saying, the record straight. Yeah, yeah. Like, you mean the Bulls I sent home? And MJ need to play against each other. Right All Star Weekend, one on one. Right now, Ooh. just this age. You know, we, this, you know how they would train for that long? <laughs> Somebody gonna hurt something. That's that what knees we are gonna turn to dust. The first layup, that knee is gonna uh, have the Thanos snap experience. <laughs> no, they and they're gonna Michael, crawl and no, still try to shoot. They say Michael Jordan get mad and go in Hornets practice and be dogging their ass. <laughs> they say he really go you know, he suit somebody up and dog their ass out of practice. Like, y'all sorry as hell. <laughs> Uh, That's like, why he got to sell the team. Yeah, he's, he's toxic. He can't yeah. be in there. <laughs> Keisha, what about you? What's the most complex aspect about <laughs> Keisha E? Um, that's tough. I think it's. I, I would say either two things. Either one, I'm a little bit of a lot of things, and sometimes I make it hard because I'm very much old school mm. in a new school world. But I, like, I like trap music. But I'm also <laughs> like, this is very like. Oh my gosh, this is what you guys are doing? You know? Computer engineer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Computer yeah. Computer engineer. So my mind, just the way my mind works a lot, and I'm very indecisive. And that's really? the, on the smallest things. Like, I'll pick up and move to Atlanta real quick. But if you that like. That's not a small thing. No, I'm saying I'm indecisive on the small things. I'll no brainer oh, do that. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. It'll be got like, it. what kind of juice you want? And I'm like, uh, shit. that's every woman, though. Yeah, what kind of juice? Um, yeah, little stuff like that. Got it. What about you, Ronnie Jordan? Uh, I think everything is complex about me. I think all of it, uh, just, just balancing everything. You know, work, wife, kids, trying to be funny, trying to appeal to college kids and grown ups. It's like, you got, you got, you got. It's like a dance going on in your head oh, at yeah. all times of like saying something and trying to figure out the next thing. I can't do the college kids. I just did Alabama and them the other day, and it was like that first five was like, eh. I, they are. Then the I kind of got up out of there. But the, the, yeah, it's just it's a it's a strategy to it. I don't know. We don't relate no more. That's what it is. Yeah. They, were teaching, they were teaching me things. They were like, "Oh, when we want to holler at a girl, we just send her an email." And I was yeah, like, they don't what? do none of the stuff we did as kids. An email? Yeah. yeah, like it's it's such it's whatever her name is at whatever the school thing is. And I was like, and then what? I was like, ladies, y'all respond to this. They was like, I mean, sometimes. I said, and then what? And then we might like do a Zoom. And then what? We might like meet in the cafeteria, but we don't really sit together. And I was like, this is why y'all are retarded. This is why this Wi-Fi. generation is fucking retarded. Yeah. E, you said retarded twice. I thought you was going to get yourself. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> you can't say that. You can't say that twice. Say that no I'm a double down. She's like, it's Patreon. I thought, I thought you was going to capitalize. It's Patreon, bro. Uh, 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 Audrey, we'll, we'll go ahead and go ahead bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, take, just That's take how that bleep and then a long bleep. <laughs> just like, just like y'all have social I thought, anxiety. I thought for because... sure you would catch yourself. You, yeah. you was like, Keisha, we got to come together. And tell you. Yeah. <laughs> we stopped using that again after the hangover. We, mm-hmm. People was telling each other. Yeah. We stop. Oh, that's how frustrated I got. I'm sorry. Um, uh, but I, let's see. Are you done? Yes. Okay. Yes. 
I think the most complex thing about me is um, I have that Jordan complex that people mm-hmm. might not think because I'm more smiley, but I'd be taking things personal. I put chips on my shoulder that are not there. I create I narratives. Mm. I'm I'm fighting against Hollywood. I never even really tried to get in. I had like three Ooh. auditions. I didn't get booked. That was like everything will burn. People are like, man, what? Three auditions today. What <laughs> I'm glad you, right. I'm glad you chose violence. <laughs> no, you gotta, you, tr- get, you listen, get to bring the crew with you. There was you. no real reason. Like Michael Jordan documentary, the stories he was creating, the dude was like, <laughs> I didn't even see you. Nah, I'm gonna burn you out of the ground. <laughs> I heard you said good game, Mike. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> like, like, what? I was watching all that ice. <laughs> you are, this is not a reason to be upset. Right. They weren't even talking trash. It's like, nice he, to see you. How's your he mom? He did go My crazy mom. on that dude, man. He went crazy because that dude said good game. <laughs> what are you talking about? I be like that, though. Casting director I'm don't book me once. <laughs> what was your name? <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> like, and they don't really need to be like that. But mm-hmm. I, you, I, it creates my own fire. Rejection I need an enemy to overcome. That's what gives me my power. I have to be destroying somebody. Mm. That's why I can never get to the top. Because I'll mm. just create new, it'd be Jeff Bezos thing. Well, oh, you think mm. I can't sell no packages? You think I can't go, I can't go to space? Jeff I'll go Bezos to space. Gotta you got to be a boss. You got to have the people that with you do the dirty work, get in the mud. You nah, know what I'm saying? Like, 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 Rob, you get out there, you get them. <laughs> You know what I'm but saying? But you be driving the speed limit, Rob. You can't be a pitch me. But once I get there, I'm going to get him. Oh, when I get there, I'm going to get him. when I get up there, boy. Yeah. If you give me enough notice, I'll get there in time to get him. They done already made yeah. it. Rob, Rob is a hitman using his liquor. Boy. Rob get over safely, because when yeah. I get Rob over there. Rob Hayes as a hitman is not a bad premise. <laughs> that is a, like a polite Like the man. killing is the only uh, crime he'll commit. The other yeah. one. Like hey. he's like hey. picking up kittens and shit. I'm a killer, not a criminal. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. comes to a stop before the white line, <laughs> but yeah. I gotta kill you. Hey. But he I'm feeds not the homeless vegan food and shit. Like, look at him. <laughs> Hitman Hayes. Hitman Hayes. Uh, <laughs> my Jeff I like it. Hitman Hayes. Hitman Hayes. Y'all write that. Movie. Rob will kill you in a cardigan. Come on. I don't want to get murdered by somebody wearing a cardigan. Yeah. Yeah. You can put so many weapons in here. <laughs> he always does have a cardigan. Frank. Rob is keeping like a cardigan game right here. Last time we did the eating this, uh, not two bite rule, we had on like matching mm-hmm. cardigan. I like <laughs> it's like, it's cardigan. like the Franklin Don't Saint kind of, you know, like he's the opposite of Franklin Saint. He's the light skinned, well dressed, polite. Absolutely. <laughs> Seeing Rob with, with the new Jays on, checking out a cardigan, like, oh, I got to have this one. <laughs> this one got color blocks. I'd be proud. I'd be like, <laughs> he's wearing it with a white tee. That's what Absolutely. you're supposed to do. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Appreciate y'all. If you're watching on Patreon, which you are, we love y'all. We love all you guys. You know, Patreon is just like our favorite child. We love them a little bit more because they do more. What's they, up, Patreon? They allow Ronnie Jordan to be flown in here. Thank My y'all. Pa- oh, no. Patreon is they the reason paid. we did South by Southwest. We did that, that, that sure South did. by Appreciate that y'all, man. Thank y'all. Yes. I, yeah. I met the head of Patreon up. and didn't even do nothing. I was like, oh, I got your number. Thank you. And then just, <laughs> you ain't thought about a shit. A whole nother South by Southwest has happened. And you you just remember. <laughs> you I was just... like, oh, I met the head of that company. <laughs> <laughs> We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Uh, if you want to submit stories, we usually talk about them, but today we talk about like, We didn't do any. We didn't do it. Talking <laughs> about Atlanta was we more interesting. Oh, right. yeah. That's how we got here. Internet at Kev on stage if you have stories to submit. Uh, otherwise, just pull up for the hangout. It's just a good time. You ain't working anyway. You don't want to be there. Electricians, hit up. <laughs> Uh, in the comments, guys. electrical guys, yeah, that's what the dude said. Ele- electrical dude, oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> cut the power off to the breaker box. And when you <laughs> fix the thing when you cut it back on. Email Keisha at Alabama oh, ANU. So funny, Keisha E at Alabama ANU. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see y'all next week. Peace. I like that shirt, man. Oh.